A lot more happening here. Exciting times. Wine fridge, beer fridge, bar fridge, actual bar. Uh, wine racks going up on the walls. That'll all be done tonight. New lights all the way up here. And then this is happening. This is the sample, the first one. And this is how we're going to display our glass pour wines. So both in this room and in the dining room, you're going to be able to actually look at the bottle. Glass price, half bottle price, full bottle price. Uh, it's a way of, you can just point them and go, I want that one. Um, but it gives you a little bit of reference as well with the wine labels and those sort of things. Nice and clear, nice and easy. Okay, so the kitchen's pretty much done. It doesn't look like it because it's a complete mess. Um, but we've got most things in. Uh, ice machine, glass washer, fridge, backpack, fridge, dishwasher, new hobs, new oven, packer jet, shelves up, lighting fixed, power's coming down. Start cooking soon. So we've put uh, new lights up here. So replacing the plastic chandelier. Um, these are going to have really big bulbs on them. Really, really beautiful, but also quite simple. Ripped out this weird skylight. I'm going to put wooden slats across um, and we've installed a light to go behind it. And that's going to mean day or night, there's going to be light streaming through and just give it a nice soft feel to this landing area here. This room is still the dirty little secret. This is where we've contained all the woodwork. Dust everywhere. Complete mess, but it needed to be done. Um, especially the tables being built in here because they can't be taken out. Uh, that'll be the last thing to go together. All the other tables being produced in here and just sanding and all that sort of stuff. We're going to start varnishing tonight, so that's quite exciting. New lights, done. Different shapes and sizes of bulbs going in here, keeping the intimate feel of the room. But this will be the last area to kind of come together, I guess. How exciting is this? Uh, mural, done. Awesome, sorted. So we've taken this room that was kind of bland and boring and now it's probably the most intriguing and exciting part of the whole building. A great deal of pleasure in just letting an artist do their thing and it turning out like this. My name is Maureen and I'm creating under the name of Toraki. And I paint for this restaurant a big mural inspired by creative people of Wellington and New Zealand. Asher gave me a few clues before. Uh, he told me about the work of Catherine Mansfield and especially a few book covers that she had who are really beautiful. And the thematic of the restaurant is around the early 19th century. So I worked on the floral patterns to remix them kind of in a huge composition where everything is like floating around really free, not repetiting on the wall. It's like a jungle, so you can go wild in the jungle. <laughs> I just wanted to talk about this little character because like, he's really looking for inspiration in this big forest. So the book is like blank yet, so it's not inspired, but I don't know, nature is a really good teacher and I wrote many texts of her and she felt inspired by nature and human behavior too. So. It was like the good balance to have just her alone in nature to feel like the energy coming back again. It's my Catherine Mansfield, so it can be whoever you want. But yeah, I feel she inspired me a lot for this mural, especially so I wanted like to don't put a face on her, but know that there is someone who's like gonna write again there. So yeah, it's like the new beginning for a new story for everyone who wants. So over the last few days we've done some staff tasting, both food and wine. We get everyone together communally, eating together, drinking together, talking about, discussing what we're having, what we're tasting, what we're thinking about, what the story is behind the product. Because that's what we're going to do with people at the table. 